Shady Mateys, it's Cameron, and I'm back with some Halloween fun. I found these really cool clear plastic pockety thingies. I'm not exactly sure what they were used for at a thrift store, and I thought they would make amazing covers for Halloween journals. Because you can tuck all kinds of cool stuff in them everywhere in the front and the back. I made two. They're in the shop now, um, as before. If they say sold below, then they're gone, but if they don't say sold, they're still available. So please check out lotusandnightshade.com for all the measurements and details. I'm going to try to make this a quick one, so let's just go ahead and dive right in. Um, I've made the pages pretty simple. They're single signatures, and I put a lot of goodies on uh, in all the pockets so that you can do your own thing inside and hopefully inspire you to make your own tuck spots, pockets, right on the backs, so whatever you want to do with all the goodies. They'll also come with a unopened washi tape. These were secondhand thrifted washies, but they're unused, so there'll be a different one included in each pack, along with this little stamped, I don't know what these are called, metal rimmed tags, I guess. Okay, so this one is in the store as Big Spider, because of this large spider die cut here in this pocket. They are uh, three hole pamphlet stitched with purple thread here on the side. And that's where I just uh, threaded this ribbon through to hold it on, but you could use whatever ribbon you want, just change it right up. So there's some die cuts and some chipboard in here. This opens up and there's another pocket on the inside. I've got some goodies tucked in there. I just clipped this library pocket. It has some things in here to this front part because you could decide if you wanted to peel this off and stick it to here or wherever you want in the book. But I just clipped it in for now. Added some ruffle. I added a plastic leaf. But for the most part, I tried to leave the uh, sheets pretty open for you to do what you want with them. They'll come with two complete sheets of stickers. This is the one in this book. And lots of little cutoffs of paper to add to your book as you like. So I just chose a variety of pages, did some stamping here and there, and tea stained pages as well, and some simple tabs, leaving the rest pretty blank. Did some splattering. This is tea stained, but just a fun mix of things in here. There's splattering and stenciling. It's a cute children's book illustration that I just attached with paper to the other side. This is out of print scrapbook paper. I mean, really old, it's probably at least 10 years old that I had in my stash. And it had um, some of these little uh, accents that came with it. So I just included a few there. This is a hidden paper clip that I embellished on one side. Manuscript paper that I made into pockets. Some more paper off cuts. There's a tag and an um, embossed envelope page from a Halloween kids crafting book, vintage, tea stained. This is also some old scrapbooking paper, but not quite as old as that other. And I added some ruffles just for interest. This is part of that 10 year old pack too, or not a pack, it's a pad. Yeah, it's a pack, not a pad. <laughs> yeah. Talking is hard when it's on camera. Have you noticed that? Got some really cool orange paper here. Some purple trim on this one. This is a heavier cardstock. And in the center, I just put one of these on here to hold them together. This is a tuck spot here. There's another embossed envelope. And these <clears throat> I had made for previous kits and I had some left over. They are uh, hand embossed and tea stained labels that I also stamped. There's a variety inside there that you can use in your journal. I know there's a lot of October daily prompts, prompt lists that you can choose from and work from, and I thought that this would be a good type of journal for that, because it leaves a lot of room for your own creativity. But because of the various pages and, um, <laughs> my kitty cat's coming up here, and uh, the ruffles and stuff, it lends itself to a lot of uh, inspiration too. And 
added one last leaf here to the back side. That's the end. There's another full sheet of stickers here that match that one cute paper. So there's a pocket here. And then on this side, there's a pocket here. And I have something stuffed in there as well. So that's Big Spider. And let's go to the next one. Okay, here I am. This one I call Haunted House, and you'll see when I open it up why I call it that. Here is the washi tape for this one. <laughs> really cute. And it has the same tag here. So here's the die cuts in the chipboard here, a tag on this one. Then there's a another coffin shaped tag just in the like the other one just a different paper and here is the library pocket for this one again this just peels right off so they're self-adhesive okay this one has a different ruffle here but also the leaf and then that's why I call it Haunted House. It has Haunted House paper here. This is that 10 year old paper. It's a cute invitation, the ghosty on it. One of your full sheets of stickers and some paper off cuts. Splattering, stenciling, purple trim. Another page from that kid's craft book. Hidden paper clip. This one has a spider. And another little mini set of stickers that matches the um, haunted house paper. Same uh, company. Let's see. Embossed envelope. Let's put it that way. This is kid's book here, but I love this old spooky tree. And plus it leaves a lot of space here for journaling. So I love the little Dracula and the witch and the kitty cat. It's really cute. Card stop. Ruffle. And I like the way that the splattering shows through. It gives it even more interest. I wasn't even counting on that happening. <laughs> oh, and here's the stamp. Stencil tea stain paper, a tab, double sided, and that's the cute paper in there. Here's the tuck spot. Another book page. Paper off cut tag, and an embossed envelope, super whimsical, super fun, the papers are just, I mean they're my favorite, I love some of the things that I used in here, I've been hoarding them for years obviously, so I'm glad they're going to good use, there's another leaf there. Here's your other full sheet of stickers that matches that Dracula paper. And you got a pocket here, a pocket here with some goodies in it, a little ghosty. So just really fun. I thought these would be great so that after you use the ephemera, you can put your own family photos maybe, or cutouts from magazines, or maybe ticket stubs from haunted mazes, or, you know, just a fun way to also incorporate the memories of October or the things that you thought of in October or that you like to look at right there on the cover. They're so fun. They're great. I love the colors. Durable. You could even punch little holes in it if you wanted to, to put the little tab, you know, if you wanted to have dangly things. The plastic is great. So they're in my shop now. Thank you so much for being here. Happy to make journals for you and have you show up here time and time again. Warms my heart. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.